make some noise and be thoroughly un-British as you welcome to the stage some of the people behind the film. Their names are... Uh, 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 Our director, Sam Fell. <laughs> the voice of... Frizzle, Josie Sedgwick Davies. <laughs> the voice of Fowler, David Bradley. <laughs> And the voice of Fetcher, Daniel Mays. <laughs> Keep on clapping. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's been a long journey, hasn't it, Sam? Yeah. It has been, yeah. It's been, for me, six years. Six yeah. years. To get here with you, but it's been worth it. Okay. Just to give a little bit of context, how long does it take to animate, let's say, a minute of this movie? Well, one animator, and they lit, they are, you've seen the puppets in the foyer, and they just move one frame at a time from the beginning to the end of the shot. It's like a, it's a performance though, right? Yeah. A live performance, but really slow. Um, so the one animator could do four seconds in a week. Um, so when we had 30 animators, which is, I think it's true, we could get to like two minutes in a week. Two if minutes. we did two minutes, it was like, wow, it was like the biggest week. <laughs> Celebration. Two minutes. Yeah. Well, hats off. Thank you. I know a lot of hard work goes into this. Yeah, not just me, but I mean, two, 250 people, and then there's more like people outside the studio, plus their friends and family. I mean, there's, there's 2,000 odd people involved. In We're all very grateful, we truly are. So, Josie, tell me a little bit about what it's like to actually get this role. I believe it was your first ever gig. It was, yeah, it was my first. It was, you know what, it was amazing because I got the phone call and I was saying this before. Um, obviously, I was like, oh my gosh, being very dramatic, obviously. And um, I immediately rang my mum and I was like, mother, I've got the job, I've got the job. But I'd interviewed for Home and Bargain a week earlier. So she was like, oh my God, oh Joe's got the job at Home and Bargain. And I was like, no, not that job, not that job, the acting job. But she was already gone to my dad, like, John, she's got the job at Home and Bargain. Joe, Josie is just such a. Every now and then you find someone and you just make a discovery, and that's my favourite thing about making these movies: just finding like great, amazing new talent. And uh, Josie's just the. You're gonna love him. Yeah, Josie. I think you love her right now, but you're gonna read. David, I'm curious though. What's it like being directed? as a chicken. Do you get certain notes where you think, I don't hear that at any other job? Well, um, first time I, I regretted bunking off to the pub at drama school during the, the chicken workshop. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam, Sam helped me uh, uh, get into my inner chicken. <laughs> I, he, 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 he clucked a bit and started chucking seeds at me <laughs> and then gradually I just started um, doing that and, and, and that and then gradually I got it that thanks to yeah it's um, a method actor yeah, yeah. 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 great method actors of our time I mean I offered him the chance to live with chickens for six months <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah he was kind of busy. yeah yeah, but we got him up to speak. Yeah. I think he does a good job. I think it's worked out great. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Good, good. Now, it took you many months to come out of character, didn't it, David? Yeah, yeah, it's taken a while. Just worn off. We, we, so, some actors, you, 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 you work with them and you never see them again, and some you work with 20 years later. Incidentally, I worked with um, Ben Whitchell. 50 years ago at the National Theatre. So I, I, I kind of, uh, it's quite, not, not, not that difficult to channel him because I spent a lot of time touring with him. So I, That's lovely. But Danny, I, you know. I, we can't get rid of each other, can we? No, no, he's been, <laughs> he's been trying to shake me off for years. <laughs> so Danny, we'll put you on the spot here, but what does it mean to be in an urban movie? Because for the UK at large, for the world at large, this company, this business, this animation house means a lot to us. Yeah, it means absolutely everything. Like everyone, I've grown up on these uh, movies, you know, huge fan of Wallace and Gromit. And just to hear Sam talk about how much time it takes, how much dedication goes into the process, you know, just to be a kind of small part of that team is an amazing feeling. And um, I'm just thrilled to be here today to finally watch the, the end result, you know. It's just, a, it's just been a wonderful process from start to finish. 
Yeah, here, here. And you guys are really going to have the most wonderful time. I got to see it recently. It's such a treat. So we won't keep you any further. We're going to let you watch and enjoy the movie. Any final last words, though, Sam? Well, we do all this work. We put pour our hearts and souls into this. But in the end, we'd be no one without the audience. You know? And so just thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Please do not forget to spread the love, share the love on social media or in your friends and family or just in the street. Shout out about how much you love. <laughs> Kick and run, draw the nugget. And please, again, be very un-British and put your hands together and shout as these guys say goodbye and we press play with them.